In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to migrate a domain from Namecheap to AWS Route 53. So the reasons that we might want to migrate would be to consolidate things, to have everything in one place um, that can assist in further security, things like that. Here we're using Namecheap and Route 53. Route 53 is where my company has most of our stuff, and so to keep everything under one interface and one company, we're going to move everything to AWS where the rest of our infrastructure is. Here we'll be using Namecheap where the source domain is, but this is easily applicable to any other registrar, so GoDaddy, EuroDNS, uh, just the interface on the registrar side will be a little bit different. So here are some of the prerequisites. The first is that your domain must have been registered or recovered no fewer than 60 days ago. So that means you either bought it 60 days ago, or if you accidentally let it expire and recovered it, that had to be 60 days ago as well. You also have to confirm that your top level domain or TLD is supported by AWS. Most are, but some aren't. I don't have any examples of that right now, but we have a link below that will show you where those can be checked. Last, you want to confirm that the domain's registrant info is accurate. That's going to be super important because this process is going to require that both Namecheap and AWS email that registrant email. So if that's inaccurate or it goes to the wrong person, somebody else will be getting things like the authorization code that will enable them to transfer the domain on your behalf, which certainly you don't want. So some other last notes here. Uh, you want to make sure that you back up your DNS records before you do this if you have important DNS records on the domain. In this instance, the domain that we're transferring doesn't have anything really important, so we won't be. And the reason that you want to do that is once you initiate the transfer, there's no real guarantee that your existing registrar will actually hold on to your DNS records. Those may just go away. So you want to make sure that you have a good copy of those before you get this process started. Next, uh, we'll talk about the effect of the transfer on your domain's expiration date. When you transfer this domain to AWS, in most cases, what's going to happen is they are going to add another year to that expiration date, which means that they're going to charge you for a year of registration. Now, those are usually pretty reasonable, pretty market rates, but you will want to check that to make sure that you don't accidentally incur a charge that you weren't expecting. Uh, along those lines, AWS credits, if you have them, uh, you may have got them from one of their, I believe the program's called Initialize, where they'll give you $5,000 in AWS credits as a startup business, things like that. If you have a large number of domains and you were counting on using AWS credits for this, know that they won't apply. That way you won't get, again, a surprise charge. Last, premium domains. So if you have a really sought after domain, something that's three or four letters, something like that, oftentimes, uh, oftentimes those registrars or the domain registries themselves, like VeriSign, will regard those as premium domains. In those cases, those domains can be more difficult to transfer or won't transfer, and you may have to contact AWS support for help to see if you can do that. So if you're transferring something that's very unique, very valuable, make sure to get in touch with AWS support first before you begin this transfer. Okay, so now with that out of the way, let's get started. So you can see I've already logged into Namecheap, which is the first step. You'll do the same with either Namecheap, if that's what you're using, or GoDaddy, whatever your registrar is for the domain you're transferring. And you can see here that I don't really have any crazy DNS settings. It just forwards to my LinkedIn, so we don't have to worry about that. And then down here, we'll check and we'll make sure that the registrant contact information, specifically that email is correct. You can see that my personal email is here. So we know that we're good for that. After that, we're going to go to sharing and transfer up here. Click on that. And then down at the bottom under the transfer out section, we're going to click on this unlock button. All right, so once we have confirmation that our domain unlocked successfully, we're going to click on the auth code button, select any option here, and then hit send code. And now we're going to wait out 
in our email and wait for that to show up. You can see that came through pretty quickly. We have that, it's for the right domain. So now we'll complete the second half of the transfer process by going to AWS. Here you can see I've logged into the AWS Management Console. We'll navigate to Route 53. Once that's loaded, under Domains, we'll go to Registered Domains, and then hit the Transfer Domain button. Now we're transferring ceblack.com, so I'll type in ceblack, and we'll check. That usually just makes sure that it's unlocked. And so it says that ceblack.com can be transferred, and that will be $12, which is great. So we'll hit Add to Cart and then continue. Now here's where it's going to ask for the authorization code. So we'll go back to the email, we'll copy this code, we're going to paste it right here. Now we have the option to choose how we want the name servers to be changed or configured when we move things over. Uh, this one says continue to use the name servers provided by the current registrar or DNS service. Uh, that's fine with us. We're not going to change anything. And again, this is a domain that I don't really use. It just gets forwarded to my LinkedIn anyway. So it's not a big deal. It's something that you can always change later on once the transfer is completed. So with our authorization code in there, we're going to hit continue. Now we're going to make sure that this is all correct. I can see it's all correct and it corresponds to my company. We'll hit continue again. All of that is correct. It is the right authorization code. Do you want to automatically renew your domain? Yes, I do. So I'll make sure that says enable. And then if you like, make sure to read the terms and conditions about this. Uh, it's, I've read it myself just to make sure that I wasn't walking you all into uh, something you weren't expecting. And it's pretty normal, pretty boilerplate, nothing crazy. So. Uh, but feel free to read it for yourself if you wish. I have read and agreed to the AWS Domain Name Registration Agreement. Complete order. All right. So now we've completed our order. We'll hit close. Go to Domains. Well, no, first, so what's going to happen next is that AWS is going to email you at the registrant email that we set earlier on. And this is where you're going to have to authorize that transfer and confirm that this is actually what you want to happen. Um, make sure to keep an eye on that email. If you've changed your registrant email in this process, as you can see that I just did, make sure to monitor that email as well. And you're going to want to watch out for both that authorization email as well as the one authorizing, authorizing the change to your email address on top of any other alerts that may come through about any bumps in the transfer process. There likely shouldn't be any unless it's a very specific or you know special circumstance, but keep an eye on it regardless. So now we're go to domains and we can see here there's the domain name ceblack.com. We have a domain transfer in progress. And if we check our email, the we'll see that uh, we have a few different Amazon registrar emails in there. We'll wait on the one that comes through asking for the authorization of the transfer of this one, which will come in some time. It's not always immediate, but that's pretty much the process. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at asilis.com. My email is cj at .com. We'll put that at the end as well. And any questions that you have, feel free to leave in the comments below. Please subscribe to our channel and hit like on this video if you found it helpful. Thank you.